Hey there everyone, it's Scurvy back again with another video right by the picturesque view of Valdraken right here. With, uh, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. You know the title of the video. And uh, let's start off with the first dungeon here. And that would be Ruby Life Pools. So, before I decided to basically remake this entire video, I, I had the this whole layout here to be a little different. But now what I decided to do after a key I did last night was uh, basically just pull all this together because uh, thundering right here, uh, you're just going to get a lot of value from that damage buff rather than just trying to kill just one mob with it. You'd be killing about six. You're basically going to be doing like uh, decently sized pulls around this part. Aside from the one pull with the, the mini boss here. And then you kill the first boss. So this room is pretty simple. Uh, try not to go crazy with pulling these guys. Uh, they, they add count too. And uh, also tr try your best not to pull this one. Uh, I, I know pugs will. But all three of these mobs will pull. Or all four of these mobs will pull. So, let's go up to this next area. So, what I did here to get a, a decent count is that uh, we're going to be killing Thunderhead and we're going to try not to kill Flame Gullet. It's going to be a little difficult, but if you pull Flame Gullet, it's probably not the end of the world. Um, you're just going to have some extra count. And it's a little it's a little bit of a time waste but yeah th this area is pretty standard uh, it's, it's just like doing it on like mythic zero kill this all this stuff right here could mix and match pulls too and no doubt you're gonna be pulling like quite a bit of these little scorchling elementals but don't really worry about them then you're going to be killing the second boss. Uh, use Absolutely use Bloodlust here. Uh, you're, you're probably going to have it up for almost all the bosses. You're definitely going to have it up for the first boss. Uh, but try to have it up for the second boss, especially on Tyrannical Week. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier. And then you basically just go ahead and do all this stuff normally. Just make sure you kill the little thunderclouds. And then pull the, the high channeler. Then you're just going to kill the last boss. It's not a scurvy route video without adding a pull or two. There we go. So, let's move on to the next dungeon. You could actually press this little uh, magnifying glass here to zoom in. And what you could do here, uh, you could actually pull this pack and this pack together might actually be a titch more efficient uh, and then you could pull this separately and then this separately and then you could do the uh, the, the, the Lance Masters and all that then you kill the, the first boss um, my recommendation um, whenever the a harpoon is up just like uh, just use it like it deals dan like you don't need to wait for eruption it's basically gonna prevent the boss from casting eruption and just resets the cooldown it's actually quite interesting but yeah this first area is pretty simple this next area gets a little bit more difficult um, of course you're gonna be pulling all of the totems you're also gonna be pulling the this thunder beast and the the storm shields as well as the little primal gust oh <laughs> uh, this is a little guild thing anyways um, some people would do this first because it's the hardest boss in the dungeon. Uh, it can, uh, especially on Tyrannical Week, uh, like like it is right now at the recording of this video. Um, but yeah, you could always go here first. You're 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 basically just choosing which area you want to do first, and these are the mobs you're basically going to be pulling. And uh, as you can see, there's 
quite a lot of there's quite a lot of shit you gotta worry about. There's a lot of intermingling of colors. Just make sure you're kicking everything here, and I'll do my best to uh, to make sure the death speakers don't really enhance the mobs and all that. And yeah, kill the third boss. So here's something cool that I learned literally today. We zoom out. What we could do is we could actually fly all the way over to this side right here. Uh, there's just like a bunch of neutral NPCs here. Uh, you won't have to worry about attacking. Um, and then you could just go straight to the, the two mini bosses. And you'll, you'll never have to worry about that. Alright. And then you kill the last boss, of course. <laughs> Let's go to the Azure Vault. So. You, you do this pull right here, as normal. And then also, I forgot to... Forgot to add all this stuff right here. But you're, you're not going to be pulling this. You're not going to be pulling this well. Um, but you are going to have these four conjured lashers that you have to deal with. I didn't highlight it for the sake of percent. I could always change it a little bit later, but I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> and then what you're going to do, you're going to be pulling a little, these treants and four of the saps. A treant and, a, and four saps, a treant and four saps. And then you fight the first boss. Easy stuff. Then, what you'd want to do here... Uh, these three whelplings, they have, uh, basically they have little expanding circles that you'd want to avoid. So, my recommendation, uh, you, you take a look at these two whelps. You can also take a look at these two, but I prefer to look at these two. And then, uh, once they shrink down to something, uh, pretty small, uh, you'll actually be able to sneak past Cross all this you won't have to worry about that just kill these two mobs and then you're basically going to be killing everything on this platform you can do it in whatever order you like but this is how I prefer to, to uh, kill the mobs on these platforms going down here we're taking the right combining this and this and maybe this if it walks over here and then uh, basically gonna be killing this too for count And then you're basically going to be clearing out this this whole room right here. Great source account, pretty easy. Oh, my bad, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, easy, easy clear. Second boss actually got nerfed, so, but I've I've yet to do this dungeon on a ten. But I've done most of the other ones at this point. Let me go down to the lower chamber, so. What you could do, actually, actually, this we can. We don't have to worry about this horn swag right here. Here we go. <laughs> Impromptu route changes. The scurvy special. Anyways, uh, you're just gonna pull down here, post, pull most of the things in this room, and same here, and same with around here. And then you're also gonna be pulling this whole room. And then these two Draconids. Honestly, this is probably the easiest trash in like the whole dungeon, if you ask me. And then basically you have the third boss and then the last boss. Um, on Tyrannical, <laughs> no doubt both of these bosses are pretty difficult. Got a high amount of HP. And uh, this one has a bit of a enrage mechanic, so to speak. The, the whole absolute zero runes. Some people would use Lust here. Other people would use Lust on, on uh, Umbra Skull. But other than that, that's the route for this dungeon. Let's move on to uh, Algathar Academy. So what I decided to do now is rather than go Veximus first, I'd rather go uh, Overgrown Ancient first. The reason why I do that, it's the hardest boss in the dungeon for, for some reason. Uh, they haven't really nerfed the lashers, and you also gotta like 
You also gotta stack together and it's, it's a fucking nuisance. But basically you pull this whole room first and then you go to Croft. Now, I have all of these highlighted at once. Uh, it's mainly because uh, you're, you're gonna be pulling it all anyways. Once you kill these eagles, and then you're gonna be killing this group of eagles, and then this group of eagles, and then the second boss. Oh yeah, you're also gonna be pulling this guy too. <laughs> you kind of have to if you uh, if you want to get over there in the first place. Basically, I'm just gonna be going in reverse. Now, I've highlighted all this shit right here for like a massive pull. And basically, yeah, you're, you're gonna be pulling all of it. It's quite the pull, but you, could, you can kind of separate it out. And then you're gonna be killing the third boss here. And also, you could combine this pull right here. If you have cooldowns up. And then, you go all the way up here. So you're basically doing a, a whole loop around. Don't forget to kill the uh, the wandering mobs over here. And then this last pack. And then lastly, well, the last boss. Now, there's also four older dungeons here, which I'll go over right now. So starting off with Halls of Valor. You're gonna be doing a lot of like uh, combined pulls gonna be doing uh, this together and obviously this comes together anyways first boss kill him he's pretty easy they actually tuned him to be a bit more fair and then uh, also you, you want to avoid pulling this guy it, it, it's a pretty big waste of time so what you'd want to do just pull these three move them a little up here and make sure your ranged doesn't pull the sentinel. I will be mad at you if you pull the sentinel. Pull this right here. And then, since this guy is a patrol mob, uh, most likely he'll be around here, so you're gonna combine this pull. Then you're just gonna do this normally. Although, since the shield maiden's a, a wandering mob, um, you feel free to combine it with this pull right here. And then you're going to be combining this pull right here as well. Then you're just going to be doing this pull, these next three pulls, like, separately. And then you're going to be killing the second boss. If everybody's alive, you'll get a, a speed boost. Quite a big one, actually. Makes getting to here a little easier. So, with this area, what they decided to do, they actually made it... There, there's no more RNG where Fenrir will spawn. Before, in Legion... Uh, he would either spawn here or he would spawn here But that's not the case anymore. They, they made it so Fenrir would always be at the right. Uh, I kind of learned that the hard way but aside from that what you do pull the storm drake and then you're gonna be pulling three anger hook bowls in this pack right here and now before you pull the boss what you'd want to do you just want to get this shit out of the way you don't really want to be worrying about it and then you'll be pulling the boss. And then as we run back up here, oh yeah, you're also gonna be pulling these two before you go to the field of the eternal hunt. Then you go here, then you kill these four Vrykul kings. And then you kill Skobal, then Odin. So that's Halls of Valor for you. Actually quite a better dungeon than it was in Legion. Now let's go to Court of Stars. Oh boy, this one sure is an interesting dungeon. There's a lot of shit that's going on here. And uh, I think they made it so that the uh, the Rogue Vial or the Alchemist Vial will always be there. So that's that's nice. You could basically reduce the, uh, the health pool of uh, the first boss by a third. So you, you don't need to worry about DPSing, you could just move straight to this mob right here. But basically, what you'd want to do, you'd go here. Basically, you'd run all the way up the stairs to here. Combine this pole. Make sure you stun the sentries, because if you don't, we're screwed. 
and then uh, yeah just kill the guardian constructs now what I like to do I actually like to do this sometimes because uh, you don't really want any of this stuff to get pulled now I I've actually had something happen in the in a run that I did was uh, th this sentry got pulled but I don't think it really did anything but yeah you basically you'd want to be killing the sentries now what I what I did I didn't have any of uh, any of this highlighted I just waited for the patrol captain to go around here ish and then I'd have a rogue a rogue's basically required in in this in this cave in this dungeon if you if you want to make things go by quicker have a rogue or an alchemist uh, and then you basically traverse all all these houses right here and then you're just gonna start killing a shitload of demons now you also want to be killing three of these fellbound enforcers for what they for what they do they bring one of these mobs one at a time of course and it's gonna be I'm a cut ya and then Balgar the Balgar the watchful and then uh, Jeshiryu, however you say that guy's, that demon's name. And then, once all, all three of them have been killed, then you could fight the second boss. Now, basically, you're going to be going around here-ish, where the, where the marker is. And then, that way, you know, you, you might be able to avoid pulling these. But sometimes you might not have the count, so... Uh, you might want to you might want to pull these if you're under count but other, other than that you you'll be all right all right and then there's going to be a little mini game around here i think there's an add-on or a weak aura that can help you out i'm probably going to have to get it sometime <laughs> just kind of lazy right now but then once you do that uh they actually changed this mini boss a little bit to be like the the dreadlords from Shadowlands season four. Uh, he has some of the same abilities like the vampiric claws, uh, the the hypnosis bat from Zulgamix. Although you don't get any stat buff for killing him, there, there's no broker that's going to be popping up. And then you're going to be killing the last boss. He's a little difficult on tyrannical, but just be patient and don't get hit by tornadoes. I think they should have made it a little bit more uh, clearer. Anyways, let's go to uh, the Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. This is probably the easiest dungeon that is in the pool right now. Like, the timer is generous. The, the mobs are pretty easy to deal with. Uh, it, it's mainly the, this first boss that has quite a bit of health on Tyrannical. But just as long as you're killing the adds, you should be okay. But first pull, you're, you're basically just pressing W the entire key. There's, there's nothing really to skip to make it even faster, unless you're trying to do like some plus three, like some plus three shenanigans. If you really want to upgrade that key, but most of the time it's going to be a plus two, if, if if you have competent DPS. Basically, you drop you drop down here, then you say something gay, then you pull these spiders this right here and then the first boss then you just press W in this area just just be careful not to pull the exhumers because then it's gonna be an, an for an already busy pull it's gonna be even busier and then uh, you'll have your cooldowns up for uh, the the soul phase of the second boss so yeah most likely I'm, I'm just talking in terms of blood here then what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull these five mobs, and then, yeah. For this, you basically just press W. <laughs> Need I say more? Uh, just feel free to grab a lot of these little spiders, and then keep the these two big spiders, like, uh, keep that pull separate. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab these four bats and bring them over to one of the carrion worms. And these guys, uh, they, they will grant you some credit. They they will despawn at like what, like 20% health, 25%? It's around there. 
and then they'll spawn when uh, this when you're fighting the boss. I think when it gets to like 50%, then you just gotta finish them off. Then you uh, then you, you fight this pack and this pack. Then uh, you fight Nerzul. Now let's go to the last dungeon here. It's the first Mr. Pandaria dungeon that's a Mythic Plus. And it's actually really easy. However, uh, to make this uh, not a completely boring part of the video, I will explain the bosses here. Rather than just saying, oh, oh you just press W. And they, they did change some of the trash here, too. Uh, you'd you'd want to be kicking the Fallen Water Speaker's uh, Tidal Burst. And then for Wise Mari, what you'd want to do... Uh, you'd want to get the, the little puddles, move them out of the group, dodge the fucking beam. I have, I have not really seen many people been able to do that all that well, aside from myself. Uh, you just gotta know, you just gotta know which way he's moving, and be prepared to not get knocked up. I know the platforms are a little tiny, but this isn't quaking week for this week. It's, it, it was much more difficult for quaking. And that's the first boss. Now, over here, once again, you're just pressing W. Make sure you kick the Crybaby Hosen's uh, ability, like, uh, Enrage. As for this boss, what you'd want to do is you'd want to target, you'd want to hard target the left first. And then ar around the time when it gets to, like, 10 stacks, that's when... That's when it will go immune, and that's when you start tar hard targeting the right. You basically do that until both of these bosses are dead. And then as we keep on going, we're going to be clearing out this whole room right here. Uh, as for th as for this boss, uh, oh yeah, you're also going to be using Lust for Wise Mari. Uh, some people like to use Lust or Hero for this boss, because she, she can hit kind of hard, especially on Tyrannical Weeks. But some, most people will use Lust for the last boss. I, I just think they gotta save it for after the, the ad phase. Because those ads are really easy to kill. But I'm getting a little off topic here. For, for this Pandaren chick right here, what you'd want to do... Uh, it, it's mainly on the tank. But as for the DPS, you, just, you mainly want to avoid the, the green fire waves. Uh, they will knock you back and deal quite a bit of damage. And then also, uh, the for the Jade Serpent phase, um, Yulon will actually create a pools of fire that you don't want to be standing in. So there's that. Otherwise, pretty simple boss. All these bosses are quite simple here. Now, I have a little marker down here, uh, and that's because there is enough trash for uh, one for like a hundred percent. Uh, it's, it's all the way at the end here. And then you fight the Shah of Doubt. But with that being said, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to the next video I'm going to be making. Uh, I think it's going to be coming out on Christmas Day, maybe. I don't know. I'm, feel I'm feeling a little generous. But uh, hope you hope y'all are looking forward to episode one of Scurvy Shitlist. See you then.